Later today, the Senate's likely to finish the highway bill. And once we do, I'll listen carefully to the majority leader's remarks. Uh, once we finish the highway bill, we ought to immediately turn to the bipartisan jobs bill that passed the House last Thursday. The vote was 390 to 23. Let me say that again. The vote in the House was 390 to 23. The president's also indicated he would sign the House bill. So I, it strikes me with the jobs emergency that we have in this country with 8.3% uh, unemployment, many more millions of Americans having given up trying to get in the uh, workforce, the, uh, the thing to do is to pocket this broad bipartisan uh, bill and try to create jobs immediately. Now, I've, I've heard my friend, the majority leader, indicate he wants to have a different version of it to kind of recraft it. All that will do will slow down the process and make it more difficult to get this important jobs legislation to the president's desk rapidly. So I hope uh, the majority leader will reconsider whether we need to kind of reinvent the wheel here. I mean, this is already a broadly supported bipartisan bill, which the president has said he will sign as soon as we send it to him. I don't know why in the Senate we would want to make something that ought to be pretty simple extraordinarily uh, complicated. The Democratic-controlled Senate turns to something in majority uh, leaders indicated. Instead, we're going to precipitate a fight. We're going to turn to something uh, contentious instead of trying to do something that almost all of us agree on, uh, in, uh, certainly in the, in the House, and the President agrees on, that would focus us on jobs and actually do some good. American people think we spend a lot of time spinning our wheels around here. I think they'd, <clears throat> rather than trying to sort of manufacture gridlock uh, and create the illusion of conflict where none should exist, uh, why don't we demonstrate we can actually get something done together? At a moment when millions of Americans are looking for work and millions more are struggling with the high price of gas, we have an opportunity to really do something together right now. As soon as we finish this highway bill, we could take up this jobs bill and send a small but important signal to job creators and innovators that we want to help make it easier for them to hire. And later today, we'll have another chance to move forward on the Keystone Pipeline. Despite the president's continued stubborn opposition to it, uh, we'll have another vote related to, uh, uh, to that subject with, by, offered by Senator uh, Pat Roberts. The House passed jobs bill isn't just important for what it does, but for what it also represents. It's a rare and welcome signal that lawmakers in Washington still value the risk takers and the entrepreneurs who've always been so vital to our nation's greatness. After three years of policies that undermine free enterprise through the picking of winners and losers, this legislation sends an entirely different signal. It's a welcome step back in the right direction. By clearing away red tape, it should encourage the kind of entrepreneurship that not only leads to new pockets of industry and the jobs that come with them, but which also helps people fulfill their dreams. And without adding to the deficit, this bill doesn't add anything uh, to the federal deficit. This is precisely, Mr. President, precisely the kind of thing we should be doing right here in Washington. It's the message we should send. We don't need fewer Apples or Microsofts or Facebooks. We, we need more of that. We need them for the value they add to our lives, the edge they give us in the world economy, the jobs they provide hundreds of thousands of American workers, and for the satisfaction they bring to those who help turn them from an idea into a reality. So let's send this important signal that we still believe in opportunity, we still believe in innovation, and, that's, and that when a, common, when a common good is in sight, when we can see a, a common good right before us, we can still work together uh, to actually achieve it. This is so crucial that I want to renew what my colleague John Kyle I did last night, which is to offer a consent, I've, I've told the majority leader I'm going to do this, that we turn to this important bipartisan piece of legislation that passed overwhelmingly 
in the House, supported by the President of the United States, immediately after we finish the uh, highway bill. And let me say again, 